welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Ellie and for today's video I'm going to be doing a what I got for my birthday um so it was my birthday two days ago um but we were on holiday and we just got back so I thought now would be the perfect time to film this um so I just have my presents here from my family um I haven't seen my friends yet um but I just kind of wanted to film this and get it up but yes I turned 22 this year um and I don't know if I'm too old to still be doing these videos um but I really enjoy watching them and filming them so I thought I would just do another one for you so I'm going to start off with what I got from my parents so they did give me some money and they gave me two presents as well so the first thing I got was this bath bomb box from Lush and um, this one is blooming beautiful there are three bath bombs in here so there's the rose jam bubble rune the sakura I think that's how you say it bath bomb and the sex bomb bath bomb but this is just wrapped up so nice I don't want to unwrap it but when I was sort of given the bags with the presents in I knew there was something from Lush because you could just smell it and it smells so good and this box is so pretty i'm definitely going to keep this and put things in after i've used up the bath bombs but yeah i was really hoping to get something from lush this year so i was super happy to get this and then the other thing they got me was from pandora and um, there was a few charms that i put on my list this year and this is one of the ones that was on there um, so it all came wrapped up in these pink bows and I always keep these bows. I used to put them in my hair when I was at school. Um, but yeah, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this but I got a charm and this is the new crown charm. I had the old one which I bought myself um, but I really liked the new one as well. Um, so I haven't put them on my bracelet yet because I was waiting to film this video before I did that. But this is really really lovely. I really really like this one and as soon as I finish filming this I'm going to put it on my bracelet. So next I'm going to show you the things which I got from my brother. So I got quite a few little things from him this year. So firstly I got two books. So the first one I got was Rosie Loves Jack by Mel Darbon. I think that's what it is. The writing is quite hard to read on the front. And the other one I got was Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne. And these were two books that I had put on my birthday list. I went into Waterstones I think probably two weeks ago. And there was quite a few books I wanted in there. So my mum said take a picture and then we know what we want for your birthday. Day. so I got two of the books off that list um, so I've got quite a few to read still that I've got on my shelf so I'm probably all sorted until Christmas now for books but I cannot wait to start reading these and then next I got some Maltese and Truffles I got the big box um, you can see they've already been opened um, I did share those out on my birthday um, but whether I'll share any more I don't know but I absolutely love these like in the celebrations my favourite things in the celebrations are the Maltesers and these truffles are pretty much just bigger versions of them um, so so I'm not too sure how much longer this box is going to last. And sticking with the chocolate and sweets, he also got me a big tube of Orange Smarties. Um, orange Smarties are my absolute favourite. And for years I always said that the Orange Smarties taste different to the rest. And everyone told me I was stupid and they all taste the same. But now they've brought out just orange ones, which I think proves that I am right. So yeah, I always used to pick out the Orange Smarties out of a tub. So these are just the best thing ever. And to go with the books, I also got this bookmark. Um, so it's got a little Hermione on the front. Um, so this is really, really cute. I've never actually had a metal bookmark like this. So this will be quite nice instead of folding over the pages on all of my books. But yeah, the little Hermione on there is so, so sweet. Then the next thing I got was just some film for my Polaroid. Um, so this one is Candy Pop. Um, so it's just got multicoloured dots all around the frame. Um, so I haven't used any of these yet. I was going to use them on my birthday but I didn't actually end up taking any pictures with my Polaroid camera um, so maybe I'll save these for another special occasion um, but yeah I needed some film so I was really grateful to get some and then the last thing from my brother was a box of earrings I am always needing new earrings um, but my ears are really sensitive so I have to have sort of sterling silver ones and um, so I, he got me this pack of three so there's like some little circle ones little hearts and little kind of drop ones yeah, these are kind of the earrings I usually stick to I mean at the minute I've just got like some little heart ones in um, I prefer sort of studs to dangly earrings so these are absolutely perfect and I love how sparkly they are as well 
So then moving on to what I got from my grandparents, um, one set of grandparents gave me some money, um, so I'll show you the things that I've got with the money next, and I haven't spent all of it, um, I've just bought a few things, um, I'm going to save the rest of it until I see something that I really really want, but my other grandparents got me two things. So the first thing they got me was this Lynx set, so there's a shower gel and a deodorant in there and I absolutely love the smell of this one, this is something that I did ask for and so I'm very happy to have gotten this. And then they also got me something from Pandora and again this was another charm that I asked for so I am so happy and I feel so lucky that I got two charms that I asked for this year. Um, but this one was really really cute, I saw it in the shop a few months ago and ever since I just really really wanted it. Um, but I don't know how well this is going to show up um, but it's just like a little coffee cup like a takeaway coffee cup and it's got a pink heart on the front and then underneath it it says take a break and I just think that is so adorable I will try and insert a clip um, just because that's not really coming up very well um, but this is just one of the cutest Pandora charms I have ever seen and like the little bit of pink on it just makes it perfect Okay, so moving on to the things that Jamie got me, he did spoil me this year. So the first thing he got me was from Victoria's Secret and um, we were in there sort of a week or two before my birthday and I said that I liked this and he obviously ran a bit to the till whilst I wasn't looking. Um, I love the boxes that these come in, I keep these, I've got quite a few piled up under my bed. Um, he got me a hoodie. Um, my room is so small, I don't have much room to put anything down on the floor. Um, but it's a bright yellow colour. Like I never really liked yellow, but within the last year or so, I just really, really love the colour. And I've got a lot of yellow jumpers. Um, so it's very bright. Um, but it just says pink on the front. Um, it doesn't have a hood, it's just kind of got this rollover top. Um, but yeah, it's just a bright yellow hoodie and it feels like it's going to be nice and warm and snuggly so I cannot wait to start wearing this now the weather is getting a bit colder and then the other thing he got me this year was a pair of Uggs and um, so I have been wearing them and um, so that's why they're not in the box but he got me the short pair um, three years ago when we first got together he bought me a tall pair I think it's in my very first what I got for Christmas video and um, I got a tall pair with the bows on the back um, and now I've just got the short ones and I've been wanting these for ages like I really really love the ones I have but they were starting to get a bit tatty because I had them for three years um, but I never really like I don't like asking for things that are expensive so Uggs were definitely something I would never ask for but he knew it was something that I really wanted so he got me these and I'd forgotten just how comfy Uggs were like I wear my other ones all the time but where these are new they're still so fluffy inside and um, yeah these are my absolute new favorite shoes and I'm gonna get so much use out of these so finally I'm just going to show you some of the things which I have bought with some of my birthday money and um, so I've been to a few different places um, so we were in Wales for my actual birthday so I did a bit of shopping when we were in Wales um, so yeah all of this was whilst we were up there but I'm probably gonna go shopping again now we're back home so the first thing I got was in TK Maxx and I honestly don't know where I'm going to put this because I have no more room in here to put any more decorations and Jamie hated this and said it was horrible so there's no way we're going to have it up in our room at his house. But I just got this arrow sign and it says not all those who wander are lost and I thought this was really really cute, it's sort of black and gold and this was only 4 99 but I thought this would look really really cute in my room. And when we get our house, I think I'm going to sneak this into the living room. Um, I doubt he'll really notice it's there. But yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. And I don't really know why he doesn't like it. And then whilst we were away, we went into Tesco's and we were doing a food shop. And they had some pop vinyls in there. Um, they were down reduced to £9, which I think is fairly cheap for pop vinyls. Usually they're about £15. Um, but they only had two in there. They had a Harry one, which I've already got. And then they had a Luna Lovegood one, and Luna is my absolute favourite Harry Potter character. So I've been wanting one of her pops for ages, and then I saw this was in there for £9, so I couldn't just leave it. And so I haven't opened it yet, but I have a shelf up here with all of my pop vinyls on, and there's honestly no room for any more, so I don't quite know where she's going to go. Um, but she's got her lion hat thing on that she made. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really, really adorable. And yeah, it's another one to add to my collection. 
and I bought another kind of sign to go up in my background here. Um, I want to kind of redo this, I'm not too sure what to put up there but I think it just looks a bit boring so I wanted to buy some more decorations to hang up. Um, so I got this sign and it just says do all things with great love. Um, I think this was in a store 21 when we were in Wales and this was only £3 but I love the colour of it and I thought it would look quite nice up in my background. And of course I went to Primark and bought some Harry Potter items. Um, I did pick up a lot more but I was in there with Jane me and my brother and they were both following me around saying you don't need that you don't need that you keep saying you're not going to buy any more harry potter stuff so i did end up putting quite a bit of it back um but yeah i only got three things in there um but they were all things that i had seen sort of on instagram but i had never seen any of the primarks down here so i thought i would get them whilst i saw them in wales so the first thing i got was a tea light holder and it's just in the shape of a cauldron um i don't really like tea light candles but i thought this was just really really cute and it would probably encourage me to start burning more um but yeah this one was six pounds and they've got quite a lot of things in there like this at the moment and next i'd not even seen this sort of on instagram or anything which is where i usually see all the harry potter primark items um, but it was this candle gift set which i think is really nice like this was only six pounds but this would make such a nice present for someone um, and it was all wrapped up in a bow but i have opened it um, so inside there are four candles, um, so they are each of the houses, so there's a blue Ravenclaw, a red Gryffindor, a green Slytherin and a yellow Hufflepuff. Um, they don't really smell too much, like when they're all together in the box they smell, but when you smell them individually they're not that much of a strong scent. Um, but I just thought this was really nice and I just thought they'd look really cute on my windowsill. So then the next thing I got, I had actually seen around the Primarchs at home, but they only ever had Gryffindor ones and I'm a Slytherin. So I was really excited to see that they had it, but they have these hanging flags. Um, so they hang that way and they just say Slytherin on them. Um, I think I'm going to have to flatten this out under some books because it keeps curling up at the ends where it's been in its box. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to hang this. I might put it on the back of my bedroom door. Um, I've got a massive Slytherin flag on the back of there, um, but that might fit quite nicely on the back of my door um, so they only had Slytherin and Gryffindor there as well uh, so I've never seen any Hufflepuff or Ravenclaw but I'm pretty sure they'll do those and not just the Slytherin and Gryffindor ones but yeah I was really excited to find this and this one was five pounds um, but yeah I just this is really sweet and I also went to Lush um, so I bought a bath bomb and I did actually buy this before my birthday but I never actually ended up using it whilst I was in Wales um, so this one is called Cheery Christmas and um, I bought it because it was pink and it smells really nice um, so I might actually use this one tonight but yeah a lot of their Christmas stuff I loved but I just thought it was really really expensive like there were some really nice bath bombs they were like £10 and I didn't really think I could warrant spending £10 on a bath bomb so I just stuck with one of the cheaper ones but I think this is just going to be just as nice and then I also got the Snow Fairy body spray I absolutely love the scent of Snow Fairy I think it's one of those scents that people either really really love it or really really hate it um, so I personally love it and um, this was £20 um, this will probably last me quite some time and the only thing I don't like about it is the packaging like it looks like a cleaning product um, so I was kind of tempted not to get it just because I didn't like the packaging at all um, and for £20 I don't really think it's the nicest of packaging um, but it smells really really nice and I was in the shop and I sprayed it and I was with Jamie and my brother and Jamie said he really liked he really hated it and my brother said it was really nice so I thought well if one person likes it then I'm gonna get it and then I took it back to our cottage and then my mum and my grandma were like actually that's really really nice so I might stock up on a few more before all of the Christmas stuff ends because this just smells so nice but yeah this is gonna last me a while I think and lastly I went into CEX um, so I got a couple of DVDs um, so I got three Pretty Little Liars DVDs um, I have watched all of it um, I've been watching it on Netflix um, but I like to buy DVDs even if I've watched them on Netflix just because Netflix are always taking things off um, so I thought I would buy them I've already got season one and then I found two three and four all in the CEX so I thought I would grab those whilst I saw them um, so they're only sort of one pound fifty um, but yeah, I don't really tend to watch DVDs that often, like I know it sounds silly buying DVDs in case they get taken off of Netflix, um, but things like this I just buy when I see, um, just so that I can have the full collection. So that is everything that I have got for my birthday so far. Um, 
I usually kind of add everything I get in, um, but I didn't really want to wait to film it. So I thought at least if I do it this way, hopefully it won't be too much of a long video. Um, but thank you to everyone who said happy birthday to me or gave me a card or a present. I'm really, really thankful for everything that I got. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know if this will be up before or after any of my Wales vlogs. But yeah, I vlogged the whole time I was away for my birthday. Um, I didn't really film too much for my birthday um, because I knew I would film this video. So the only thing that would have really been in a vlog would just be me sort of showing you what I got. So yeah, I didn't really film too much on my birthday, but I do have a couple of vlogs going up from when we were away. But yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this and I will see you very soon with my next video. Bye. <laughs> so I did end my video earlier, but I have just met up with Beth and she was kind enough to give me a few more presents for my birthday. So I just thought I would add those in here and show you what we got, what she got me. Um, she is probably a literal mind reader because half of the stuff I picked up and I put back because I was like, you don't need to buy any more. And she actually got me a load of stuff I was going to buy for myself. So yeah, I'm really, really happy so thank you so much Beth I love all of it but I will show you guys now what she got me because she messaged me before we met up to say do you want your presents now or when we all meet up as a group because I know you make some videos so I thought I would just add it into the end of this one so yeah once again thank you Beth I really love everything you got me so she got me these socks and I picked these up the other day um, she said she actually bought me another pair but I showed her some stuff I bought the other day and I'd already bought them so she got me these and I love these like I love the thrills and of course they're Slytherin so that's my house but yeah I cannot wait to wear these and she also got me the Slytherin hairbands and I think these are going to come in handy if I do some more Harry Potter themed lookbooks she also got me two bath bombs from Lush, so she got me Dragon's Egg, which smells so good, and I've never actually tried this one before, so I'm excited to use this. Um, it just smells so good, I might actually have to use this one tonight. And then she also got me the Magic Wand, which is one of my favourites, it's so pretty. I love the colour, and I just love the fact that it's a wand, and that it's pink, and I could just hear something <laughs> sort of moving around, and I couldn't work out what it was, and I've just remembered these have bells on them. Um, so that's what that funny noise is, but yeah, thank you, Beth. And she also got me this Harry Potter bookmark, and um, it's got the snitch on it. So as you would have seen previously, I got the Hermione one of these, but you can never have too many bookmarks. And I absolutely love this one. I'd never seen the snitch one before. So this is really cute and I really love it. And then the last thing she got me was this mug with some things in it. So there are two face masks in there. So they're both pink. I think there's a bit of a theme going on here. There is a lip balm, which is a candy floss scented one, so that I bet smells amazing. And a small jar of Snow Fairy, because as you've probably already seen as well in this video, I love the Snow Fairy scent. And there's just a few little chocolates at the bottom, which I've never tried before, but Beth said these are really good, so I'm excited to eat these as well.